We all know about Negative Lip Pro, excellent piece of software for Lightroom in order to invert your uh, film uh, negatives. Now, as much as it's amazing and excellent, there is no doubt, problem is that you need Lightroom in order to able to use this piece of software. Now that's kind of useless if you don't have any Adobe subscription, like I certainly don't have any Adobe subscription. So. Um, I was kind of stuck with my silver fuzz, which is also excellent, but I was looking for different option. Now I forgot I do have a Lightroom alternative that I use for my daily photo editing. And that software actually do have a dedicated film inversion tool. Um, let me get it to you. It calls Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro. Now it's 11, before it was 10. Now Silky Peaks is a Japanese software that created softwares for Fuji, uh, Panasonic, um, all the, most of the Japanese software. And they are excellent for photo editing. Now they do have a film inversion tool. It's called negative film inversion tool. Like you cannot just miss it. Now I do have a bunch of scanned uh, DNG files from my PlusTech 8100. Now I'm just going to select one of the image just to show you if it's capable enough to do a good job just like Negative Flip Pro. So I'm going to bring the tool now. Think about this tool, it's a dropper so you need to drop it on the darkest part of the image. The darkest part of the image which is the brightest part of the negative. So in that case I'm going to look at the whitest part available uh, I'm going to zoom in to be more precise and then find an area that looks super bright generally under the shadow so it's going to take a little bit of time there you go found it so I'm going to just click there and that's it so it's already amazing enough and gave you an excellent base now you need to do fine tuning obviously there is no doubt about it one of the fine tuning which is in my eyes or and also if you look at the histogram you do have a little bit of green dominance in fact green and blue dominance and very less of a red dominance so you need to align them either with the white bands or with the curve now with the curve is possible but it's a wild wild west meaning that it can go wrong so easily so I stick with the simplicity so that means that I'm going to stick with my white balance sliders first thing I'm going to do is go to the color deflection another way to say tint to and raise the red a little bit let's see where it takes us um, doing a good job but it's also pushing the green so that means that I need to compensate so I'm gonna uh, bring up a little bit of uh, the warmness looks good but I think it's automatically added um, sharpness and noise reduction I don't need any of them because it's not a camera image so I'm gonna you know get rid of my noise reduction and sharpness and I will add them manually. Now you need many things. You need contrast, you need color. First thing is the color. So I'm gonna to go to the color. Either I can bump up the saturation quite a bit and see what it gives me. And it looks pretty decent. Um, but mid-tone uh, or gamma in on the grass looks pretty aggressively bright. So you need to get rid of it a little bit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my um, partial correction tool or local adjustment tool, bring my brush and um, brush just on the green area. Don't worry, I'm going to get rid of this brightness right now. And then I'll go to the color, select the dropper, put the dropper on the grass. And to see where did you drop it, you could actually see them, I think. There you go. That and that. And now you selected just the green area. You didn't select anything else. So you reduce the brightness slightly. And then you make sure 
you're not selecting everything so you control your range and see what is the best spot for you to make sure that you're not creating any kind of horrible distortion it looks good to me i'm going to turn it off so far in my opinion it looks pretty good enough and you can stop there but my point is of this video in the end that if you don't have negative lab pro and you're looking for a dedicated um, film negative editing software you have silky Peaks developer studio pro which is already a fantastic lightroom alternative which has a dedicated film inversion tool which does a very fast job now remember fast job i said didn't say a good job or excellent for that matter and that's very subjective in my case because i use silky pics i'm um, sorry silver fast they both sound exactly the same so i'm mixing one with the another so i use silver fast for my film negative inversion and it's like a gold standard literally gold standard they do software for drum scanners so i really trust them when it comes to a dedicated um, film software however if you don't have that you have this option which is also you're getting two for one one you have a dedicated uh, photo edit, digital photo editing software and film photo editing software um, you get two in one uh, i highly recommend you to go and visit their website uh, in, and download a trial and you may fall in love with this software if so uh, if you like my video please do like and subscribe look after yourself and i see you in next time bye bye